What's up guys, Husto7 here, and I've got a quick video to show you some of the settings for the Xbox One, um, how to get things like your TV set up, and actually how to make it so that you can say Xbox off, and it will turn um, you know, everything off, including your like audio receiver, your cable box, even your TV. Um, so what you want to do is go to your settings, and if you click the menu button, you can go to settings right there. Now, there's sort of like two different settings here. You can see that there's your console setting, uh, which is right here, and then there's also your um, your personal settings. There's even family settings and other people, but um, I don't have any other accounts on this console right now, so I'm just going to worry about these. Uh, over here is where you can adjust things. Um, I'm not going to click on any of these because there's you know some information that I don't necessarily want to share with YouTube on here, things like my credit card info under payment and billing, but um, this is where you can adjust some of these things, and you can specify if this is your home Xbox or if you have downloaded your profile file onto a guest's Xbox, which is um, a pretty interesting feature uh, of that as well. So um, this is how you can adjust kind of your, your personal, but let's go over the console settings. The first thing I want to talk about is that Xbox One has built-in wireless. So when I click on network, um, it'll see that I'm currently using wired, um, but uh, you can set up a wireless network. Now in order to do that, you will have to unplug your wired connection, so I'm not going to do that right now. Um, just because you know I'm, I've got a lot of things downloading in the background, but um, setting up the wireless network is really easy. If you've ever connected a computer, um, it's exactly the same. But I also want to draw your attention to the NAT type. So you can see that my NAT type is open. Um, you don't have to be in a game or anything. You can find this out right from the network settings, which is great. Um, th the most popular video I've ever posted ever on my entire history of YouTube was how to get open NAT settings. So um, this is a, a great way to check. It's pretty quick right from the settings menu if you've got open NAT settings. All right, so let's back out. Um, you can actually get some connect settings here as well. Uh, again, I'm not going to click on this one just because uh, I mentioned in one of my other videos um, that it's, it's it's almost 4 a.m. here where I'm at, and so I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> uh, and when you click on this, you'll be able to adjust your Connect settings and get your Connect set up. Um, but it will display your camera, and I just don't really want that displayed right now because um, you know I'm in my pajamas. So I'm going to skip that one for right now. But the Connect settings are pretty easy to navigate. Um, in the Connect settings, you can specify if you want to use your Connect for like in-game or party chat, and you can even turn your Connect off. So you do, I think, need to have your Connect plugged in. Um, but if you want to turn it off, that's how you can do it. You can do it right there. All right, if we go on to preferences, here's where you can um, specify your notifications. You see, you got Skype, you got um, the uh, messaging, um, the party notifications, and all other notifications. And notifications pop up on your home screen. I showed this in one of my other videos, but real quick, we're just going to click our home button, and you see that the notification is right up there. That's what that little kind of like world looking symbol is. So we can just go quickly back into our settings right like that. On the system app, you see that you have allow play to streaming. You can record with the in-game DVR. You definitely want to make sure that that's played. Um, this preferred video provider, I'm not sure what it is. I have none right now, and I'm not exactly sure um, how to change it. I'm assuming that maybe that has to do with apps. Um, you know, with like more uh, when more video apps uh, are released. But for right now, I'm just leaving that. Then there's Smart Glass. If you don't know what Smart Glass is, that's a iOS, Android, and Windows 8 um, application that you can download and actually control your Xbox One uh, from your smartphone. So I've got a whole video about that. I'll put a link in the description and the annotation on screen. Um, but if you want a smart glass tutorial, I've got you covered there too. So let's back out here to our main settings menu. Um, system, again, I'm not going to show you this one because this has got like my console ID and my serial number and stuff. I don't know if it's important information, but just in case, I'm going to keep that one private. So. If you click on the system info, though, uh, you can rename your console. I think it starts off as like you know default Xbox One or whatever. But if you want, you can rename it. So of course, I didn't find Husto Seven, um, but uh, that's there's not much to be um, adjusted under there. Uh, I'm hoping in the future they'll add something for you know system memory, like hard drive space. But as of right now, that is not uh, a feature that is built into the Xbox One um, at launch. Let's go over to disc and Blu-ray. Disc and Blu-ray, this is where you can specify if you want to automatically play discs, um, and if you want to resume playback uh, when you you know, are, are switching between your applications. Um, for the Blu-ray, you can edit some of these settings. I, I don't know what the 24 uh, you know, hertz is. Um, that's, that's not something I'm familiar with, but uh, you, can, you can specify any of these. Um, the BD Live experience, uh, I recommend keeping that. And then you also have storage. So if you've ever tried to watch a Blu-ray and it says, you know, it's got like a two megabyte thing it wants to download, you can download that and you can actually clear it here um, if that's taking up too much space. Um, but uh, it will hold on to, your Blu-ray player will hold on to it. And then you can even specify um, a preferred language for subtitle and the audio and uh, the menu, which many Blu-rays um, have choices for. 
All right, let's go over the um, TV and uh, one guide here. This is a pretty big one you're going to want to get set up. So the one guide is really awesome. Um, when I click here, you see you can set up uh, your TV. Um, you can specify your zip code so you can see who my ISP is. I don't think that's very sensitive information um, since I made a you know I hate my ISP video back in the day but now you guess you know who it is but um, this is where you can um, specify what your uh, cable provider is and so that will is what will populate the guide then you can come down here um, I have you see I have selected to hide um, you know standard definition duplicate channels I always want to watch the high definition version if that's available and you know if I say something like uh, you know watch ESPN I want to make sure I'm watching ESPN HD so um, there's uh, three different options here but I recommend choosing to hide um, duplicate channels that way in the event that you only have a standard definition channel you can watch it if you want to but uh, if it'll always default to the uh, high definition version so that's the one guide here under devices is where you can set everything up again I'm showing off some of my information here I don't think that any of this is that per uh, you know personal you can see what TV I've got it's the Samsung um, you can see what uh, cable box I've got and even what uh, audio receiver I've got but the cool thing is about this is that if you um, configure these you can actually say you know Xbox off and it will turn off all of my devices and I'll show you how to do that in the next menu this was really easy to set up um, you can do it automatically uh, or you can actually enter in the serial numbers manually so um, if you're having trouble finding it you know um, doing it automatically then just type in the serial number this whole process um, only took me about five uh, you know minutes or so to get these things typed in so it really wasn't that much of a process and um, has been really cool so far um, so then if we go down to power settings this is where you see we can adjust what turns on and off uh, with the um, with the Xbox turn off or the Xbox on commands so I actually have everything set to turn off um, and I have the Xbox on turns on everything that way when I'm ready to walk away I can just say Xbox turn off and um, everything will power off stop listening okay so um, you can see that the voice commands will uh, will work there sometimes so um, that's uh, that's how you can you can set that up in the power settings now that will only work if you have your devices um, configured now then there's this troubleshooting um, this is where you can go into if you need to um, kind of adjust um, some of your things I was I was having some problem with my TV it just wasn't it just wasn't working it was flickering and I just came in here and clicked reset TV settings and then for some reason it worked after that so I'm not sure exactly what the troubleshooting does in here but if you're having problems if you're, if you're having the flickering that I was having I recommend just clicking re reset TV settings and finally you can share your info with Xbox um, so that they can gather information about what TV shows you want and make recommendations to improve your TV experience I went ahead and said yes because I think that seems like a cool feature um, it doesn't seem like that's really private information I'm sharing with Microsoft. I mean, I don't really care w what TV shows I watch. I don't care if they know that. So that is a feature that's available if you want to take advantage of it. All right, that was a lot, but that's how we go over the um, Xbox One guide. Let's go down here to display and sound. Now display, this is where we can um, specify our TV resolution. You can specify what your connection is if you're using an HDMI or if you're using a uh, like a uh, you know, a component or something. Um, since it since it came included with an HDMI, I'm assuming most everyone's going to be using that. You can adjust your um, pixel, and what I needed to adjust was the HDMI audio here. So you see, I actually use optical audio, not HDMI audio. Um, that's just what I have because of my capture card. Um, so you know, I'm not going to explain the, the technical aspect of that. But if you do want to make sure that you're using the surround sound, you do need to come over here because this was originally on um, stereo, and I do want to have surround sound set up with the optical. Um, so if you're using an optical setup like I am, you need to make sure you come over and change that. But that's going to be under display and sound. All right, closed captioning, pretty straightforward. I have closed captioning off. Um, this is only one little menu here. But you, if you know, if if you uh, want to be able to uh, read the subtitles or anything, that's a, a perfect opportunity for you there. But again, I'm mo I'm assuming most people are going to have that out. Finally, power and startup. Um, this is where you can. Uh, you know, set the set uh, check these by saying if you want to say you know Xbox on to turn things on. Um, I don't actually know what resume games quickly is. I'm thinking it's if you like turn the Xbox off and then turn it back on, um, it'll jump right back into the game. But I don't know for sure. Um, but the the thing that's important to specify here is the turn off after hours of activity. You can right now only specify one or six. Um, so I jumped it up to six. I wish they'd add more. Like I wish you could turn it off after two or three or something. That would be a really cool feature to add in the future. But for right now. Um, 
you know, it's just the one or six. So I recommend uh, increasing that if you leave your console kind of signed in for long periods of time on accident like I do. Um, so that is uh, a quick rundown of the settings. Um, I hope you guys uh, got your questions answered there. If you got any specific questions, feel free to contact me. I'll try to make a video um, or I'll try to respond to your comment as best I can. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of videos going to be rolling out about the Xbox One um, coming very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Alright guys, I got some more content right here for you. The video on the left is a feature of the Xbox One where you can be playing a game while it's installing, and I'll show you how to do that. And the video on the right is, uh, now that you get your settings configured, you're going to want to get some of those apps configured. Get them added, get them installed, and get them pinned. I got a tutorial right here on that video to show you how to do it. Be sure to click those links up at the top for Twitter and Facebook.